Okay, everybody, so this video is to demonstrate how to use the TM uh, package in R. So basically described in this paper that I'll, uh, I'll put a link for this paper in, together with the video. Uh, but basically with two things. Number one, showing you how to run all of these commands. I, I have created a script that is extensively annotated. Uh, and shows you all the you know how to do this um, everything that I could found could find that potentially can go wrong and then later taking some of these commands from this paper to analyze uh, a couple of articles from a real project something that we're doing within our group so uh, so how do we go about analyzing this so I'm on a Macintosh so I'm gonna use a, an editor called uh, Aquamax, which is Emacs for uh, the Mac. And basically to open the file, the script, the first script, what I'll do is uh, Ctrl X F uh, and here at the bottom as you can see it gives me the the name of the the file. I'll point it to my desktop which is where all of my files are and then I'll ask it to uh, open the tm uh, tests uh, dot r and it will open the file. Now I don't need the scratch anymore so I'll just cut this. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to split this window in two so that I can have uh, on one window the script and then on the other one I can have an r session. So the idea is to have at the same time the script in r on the same software on Aquamax. So the way I split the screen on a Mac is by doing Command Alt 2. As you can see now I have you know two windows. Now what I want to do is to turn one of these windows and I'll, I'll, I'll pick the bottom one uh, as the R section. So the way I open an R section uh, session here is to do Alt X uh, and then capital R. Now, as you can see, uh, for Emacs, uh, Emacs calls the uh, uh, uses this M letter to represent Alt, the Alt key, and this has a long history, uh, but it basically represents Meta, uh, Meta. So Alt X R and then Enter. Uh, it's asking me where I want my starting directory to be, and I'll set it to the desktop. That's fine. Uh, and here you go. So now I have my script on the top and I have the uh, the R session at the bottom. Now there are several ways by which I could potentially um, run this. One of them would be just to call a source command here. So the way I would do this would be to say, uh, say source and then uh, parentheses quotes and then you know create the entire path until this file here which is uh, how's it called uh, uh, tm tests tm tests r so end quote and then echo uh, equals true so that the the output runs so that's one way so you know I could do this from a terminal I could do this from anywhere if I run this, it will run my entire analysis. Perfect. But then there's another way, which is to do this uh, from within the, the, the script itself. And the way you do this is to you place the cursor on uh, the, the upper, on the script itself. I actually, actually use the mouse, but you can do the same thing with the, uh, I think it's Ctrl X O. Oops. Sorry. So Ctrl X O uh, will get you to the other uh, window. So now my cursor is here. I do Ctrl X O and it goes back uh, here at the top. But anyway, with the cursor on the, 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 the script, uh, what I do now is uh, Ctrl C B. And uh, now my cursor was here, but now the, the evaluation will start running uh, here below. It takes some time because you know there's a lot of computation going, uh, but 
you know, it just ha said, you know, finished evaluation. So it basically does the exact same thing as the, the, um, the, the source command, but you can do this from within a script. Uh, yet another way of doing this within the, uh, uh, um, within a Mac is to open a terminal. Uh, so just a detail of what I'm doing here. So the way I opened that little screen was to do command space bar. It opens the uh, spotlight and then I just type terminal or I start typing terminal. It will give me the terminal and then I say, uh, you know, I just click enter. Here I would type a big R. Of course, I already have R installed. Uh, I run. And then here, you know, if I would like, I can run the exact same command that I ran before. So source, uh, users, basically my entire, entire path, uh, desktop, and then the, the name of my script, which is tm tasks r, comma, uh, echo equals true. If I close this, basically starts running the analysis. But now, instead of uh, running this, uh, oh, it gave me an error because I, I, I didn't open the, the, the appropriate library. That's fine. Uh, but basically, you know, uh, I, I can do exactly the same thing, but from within a terminal. Uh, very important. Uh, there's a number of different, uh, oh, actually, a third way of uh, running this is to run this line by line. And the way I do this is from within Win, uh, 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 Emacs or uh, Aquamax, I can take, come to a specific line that I want to run and then do Ctrl C, J. Uh, let's go to the bottom here. So you see, I had uh, my cursor on this line here for library and I did Ctrl C, J and it ran that very line on R. If I go to the second line and I do the same thing, Ctrl C J, as you see here, uh, you know it basically ran the, the the command. So that's it for now. Uh, for the next video, I'll show you how to uh, use these commands for the TM uh, file uh, to do an analysis with a specific uh, uh, set of files, and then I'll make some comments in relation to. Um, you know, potential tricks, uh, things that can go wrong and how they were fixed. Bye.